When Sue resigned, there's nothing she can do. Who made her awaken the spiritual space? Novel keyword. Resigned. Who made me awaken the spiritual space? No pop-ups, I resigned. Who made me awaken the spiritual plant space? Download the complete set of TXT, quit. Who made me awaken the spiritual space? Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Space text. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Space text It's cooling down again. Last night, there was a heavy rain in Dingcheng. This morning, the air became damp and cold. When Su gathered his clothes and silently wrapped himself tightly. Wrapped up. My body has warmed up. Open the daily work list and organize today's work. I have sorted it out. My heart has cooled down. Wen Su let out a silent sigh. After a whole morning of hard work, Wen Su remained motionless at the workstation and finally completed the tedious and intricate design changes. However, as soon as the document was saved here, the message lit up again. Wen Su frowned slightly, but still moved the mouse to open the message. At everyone, the W18 project design change email has been sent. Please check it in a timely manner. Additionally, I will hold a meeting at 2 p.m. this afternoon to review the design change content together. At Lin Yu at Wen Su, I just checked and found that there are quite a few process changes involved in this design change list. The W18 sampling schedule is tight, please work hard and maintain the process drawings in advance. Thank you. The project manager sent two consecutive messages and went into hiding. When Sue's fist stiffened as she looked at the message indicating that she had read it. Let's go, Sue Guzzi. We're going to have lunch. Shen He from the workstation behind Wen Su patted Wen Su's chair. Wen Su locked the computer screen and said weakly, Here we go. In the cafeteria, the two of them found a corner to sit down. Lin Yu appeared out of nowhere and looked at the unified eating posture of Wen Su and Shen He. He smiled and said, Is the company's food not delicious? You two rely on your phones to order food. It's so delicious. Shen He slid away a short video that had just finished playing and replied in silence, My mom said I lost weight, and I think it must be because of this food. Wen Su nodded in agreement, but his gaze remained on the phone screen. Shen He finished complaining and found that Wen Su was staring at his phone intently. He curiously poked Wen Su and said, Su Guzi, what good thing are you looking at? She leaned closer to the preface, lowered her voice, and sneered, is it below the neck? Push me to take a look. Wen Su shook his head and said, No. Shen He raised his eyebrows and said, No. Didn't you look so enthusiastic? I don't believe it. Dot. Wen Su was too lazy to say much and pushed his phone in the direction of Shen He. Look at it yourself. This time it was Shen He's turn to be speechless. TSK TSK TSK, space literature, space literature again. Is space literature so beautiful? Why don't you get tired of reading it? Shen He looked at Wen Su incredulously and said, I remember you were reading it two years ago, and today, two years later, you are still reading space literature. The pattern is too small. When Su took back his phone and calmly said, I was watching it ten years ago. Ten years. I admire it. Shen He gave a thumbs up, then you really have a deep love for space culture. There's nothing I can do, I'm a local dog and I love to watch. When Su said seriously, you know, it's strange. There are so many big shots with space in these 3000 worlds, why can't we have one more me? What's wrong with having one more me? Ha ha ha, Shen He laughed so hard that she almost spilled rice. She looked at Wen Su helplessly, you think pretty well. So if you have a space, what are you planning to do? If I had a space, Wen Su said without hesitation, then I would resign and quit. I would raise flowers, plant grass, walk birds, and retire. 
I thought you would continue to lie in the space and read novels after you had space, Shun he chuckled and teased Wen Su. It's not impossible either. Hey, you're taking it seriously, Shun he smiled as he looked at Wen Su. I said you're fat and you're panting. Wen Su calmly asked, who doesn't want a spiritual planting space? Shun he nodded and said, that's true. I also want it. Lin Yu at the next table shook his head and couldn't listen anymore. Then, after work today, hurry up and buy a new blanket. Go to bed early at night, you have everything in your dreams. Shen He sneered and said, Lin Yu, you're really boring. No, Shen He, my leader makes a lot of sense. Wen Su nodded solemnly and gave Lin Yu a thumbs up, praising, the leader is the leader, and the pattern is different. Shen He buried him and laughed happily, Wen Su flattered him, but the smile on his face instantly disappeared. Lin Yu looked at Wen Su cautiously and said, What's up? Speak human language. Wen Su quickly said, Leader, I can't work overtime tonight. Lin Yu. Why? Wen Su. Go buy a blanket. Dot. Lin Yu took a deep breath and looked at Wen Su with a serious expression, Wen Su, listen to me, change your dream. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Space Appearance. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Space Appearance Wen Su did buy a blanket. But it's not because of the jokes in the cafeteria at noon, but because the weather has been cold lately. But I don't know why. She went to bed exceptionally early today. This night's sleep was heavy and comfortable, with warm surroundings that made Wen Su, who had always been afraid of the cold, extremely comfortable. This is a kind of warmth that is difficult to describe, much more comfortable than the warmth that a hot water bag and blanket can give her. It's like taking a hot bath, and even her hair feels comfortable and freely stretching up and down. Mmm hmm. No, what's going on? Taking a bath. Wen Su felt a surge of excitement all over her body, waking her up from her dream. Why does she feel like she's taking a bath? The last time she dreamt about taking a bath was the last time she wet the bed. The last time she wet the bed was before school age, but now she has graduated from kindergarten for more than twenty years. I don't know can't it be this is impossible. Upon hearing the news of his dying illness, he sat up in shock and sat up straight. Hiss. The suddenly opened eyes instinctively raised their hands to avoid the bright sunlight. The sun. In the middle of the night, how can there be sunlight in the dormitory? Wen Su blinked. Blink again. She closed her eyes heavily and suddenly opened them again. The sky, springs, streams, grasslands, and all of these. Where is this? Wen Su opened his mouth with a rumbling sound she rubbed her eyes and then mechanically turned her neck. Looking around, she found herself sitting on a small hill halfway up. But she was clearly in the dormitory, could it be that she sleepwalked? But she has no experience of sleepwalking. Is this a prank from my roommate? What is the roommate picture? It's not easy for everyone to make money, and when we're tired like dogs, we don't have the strength to make such boring jokes. That's all excited heart, trembling hands. When Sue touched the green grass on the ground, and the prickly touch was too real. Wen Su immediately stood up from the grass and began to look around. Wen Su quickly climbed up the small hill and stood on it to start gazing into the distance. Above is a clear sky, and below is a small hill like a bun. Half of the hill is a bowl of spring water, flowing down with the terrain into a small stream that is only two steps wide. The stream flows into the open flat land below the hill, and finally hides in the grass without a trace. The overall terrain of this place looks like a small volcanic crater, with an additional central hill in the central area. If we take the area circled by a 400-meter runway as a reference, there should be nearly 10 ordinary playgrounds here. By the way, where is the exit? Thinking together, a light blue vortex cloud appeared less than 2 meters away from her. This. 
Wen Su's eyes widened in surprise as she tentatively approached the mist. As her hand lightly touched the mist, she felt a strong but gentle pulling force. The next second, she woke up from her dormitory bed. The curtains of the dormitory were not properly pulled tonight, and through the gaps in the curtains, a green and dim yellow street light appeared. With the light of the light, Wen Su looked at her familiar mosquito net and bed curtain, and listened to the familiar slight snoring in her ear. She rolled over, wrapped in a blanket, feeling somewhat disappointed. It's really a dream. If it could be true, that would be great. The dark night can easily make childishness sprout and make middle school students reappear. The person wrapped in a blanket whispers silently, and she closes her eyes. Heaven is spiritual, earth is spiritual, let me enter. A slight pulling sensation came, and when Sue, who appeared halfway up the small hill, sat there, unable to regain consciousness for a long time. After more than a dozen repeated rumors, it was finally confirmed that she had hit her luck, although she did not know how she triggered the adventure. Wen Su lay straight on the single iron frame bed in the collective dormitory, never losing sleep. For the first time, she felt that time was so unbearable. Until 6.30 in the morning, when Su could no longer endure. Gently tidying up, she opened the door and quickly ran towards the station like a dog chasing after her. It wasn't until she got on the subway that when Su remembered how she had been lying there all night, forgetting to buy a ticket. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Space Verification You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Space Verification At 7.50 in the morning, she climbed up the eighth floor like a gust of wind. At the same time as she raised her hand and knocked on the door, it clicked open from inside. Coincidentally, with four eyes facing each other, Su Su's mother, who was about to leave, was startled. Su Su's mother exclaimed in surprise, Su Su, how did you come back? My dear mother, there's no time to explain. When Su handed her backpack to her mother, help me put my bag in the room. I'm going to the market. After speaking, when Su hurriedly went downstairs. What market are you going to? The speed of Wen Su was too fast, and Su Su's mother couldn't even stop in time. Standing at the stairwell, Su Su's mother shouted to the downstairs, Su Su, why are you running so fast? There's food at home, and your father just bought it this morning. Su Su's father came out of the kitchen and said, Oh my, if she likes to buy, let her buy it. Isn't it good to buy something she loves to eat? Who can't say it well? You speak as stingy as me. Su Su's mother retorted Su Su's father, I'm afraid she'll get tired climbing up and down. Not far downstairs is the vegetable market. Wen Su was very enthusiastic about shopping, but the vegetables she bought didn't bother Su Su's father and mother. Upon returning home, Wen Su placed the newly purchased dishes in the kitchen and then carried a large black bag back to the room, leaving it locked. Su Su's father and Su Su's mother were stunned for a moment. Su Su's mother walked to the door of Wen Su's room and knocked on the door, Su Su, what are you doing? You're sneaky, sneaky, hiding your head and tail. Dot. Wen Su replied in the room, ah. I'm not doing anything. I'll be out in a moment. Su Shima shook her head and said, it's mysterious and mysterious. Seeing Su Su's father looking at him with a questioning gaze, Su Su's mother shook her head and said, I don't know what she's doing. Su Su nodded and said, Oh, I understand. I've grown up and I have a little secret now. In the room, when Su dug out a notebook, ruler, pen, and a small label. She bought small lettuce, small cabbage, small mustard, small spinach, as well as several packets of seeds for carrots, small tomatoes, loofah, cucumber, winter melon, and pumpkin. The vegetables she bought have complete roots and are very uniform in size. In the kitchen, Su Su's father looked at Su Su's mother's speechless expression and laughed and laughed, Su Su is quite good at picking, he picks very tender. Su Su's mother shook her head and said, 
I made shrimp and crabs for lunch, and stewed lamb for Su Su at night. Okay, I got it. Su Su's father said to Su Su's mother, Hey, weren't you going to your little sister's house just now? Why are you still here? Oh. Su Su's mother patted her head, Look at my memory, I just say I seem to have forgotten something. When Su accelerated her pace to make records, and then took the vegetables, crabs, shrimp, and small fish that she had just deducted and recorded data into the space in one breath. When Su glanced up at the wall clock, recorded the time, and flashed into space. When Su waved her mother's flower planting shovel and first dug three small puddles by the spring water, then put crabs, prawns, and fish into each of them. After releasing the animals, when Su planted the plants as quickly as possible. When she came out of space, she looked up at the wall clock again. Great, it's just 45 seconds past. It seems that the data measured last night was correct. The time in space is indeed exactly 60 times that of real time. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Results. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 Results Su Su, call your aunt at 10 o'clock and ask them to come over for dinner. Okay, Dad. At 11 o'clock, the aunt's family came. It's impolite to enter one's own room and lock the door when there are guests at home. So she went into the bathroom. In the bathroom, when Su once again entered the space. It has been over three hours since she last entered the space, and based on the time in the space, it has been seven to eight days, which is enough time to verify some things. All the vegetables planted in the morning have come to life, with each plant growing thick and robust, and the leaves green enough to make people happy. But the fish and shrimp I left in the morning are nowhere to be found. Suddenly, with a thud, ha! Huh. When Sue was very certain that she had just heard the sound of some animal jumping out of the water. When Sue quickly followed the stream and indeed, as she had imagined, lurking in the stream in the meadow, leisurely wandering. Isn't that the little fish she thought had died? Quickly, when Sue found several more shrimp and crabs. These aquatic products not only did not die, but also became more energetic than before. When Sue wanted to catch one of the crabs lying in the meadow, but not only failed, he almost got his hand caught. Very good, energetic enough. Not only has he become more energetic, but even his body has grown three fingers wider, which is simply unbelievable. There were guests at home, and I couldn't stay in the space for a long time. Hearing this, I happily returned to the real world. Coming out of the bathroom, Su Su's mother asked, Su Su, when are you going back to Dingcheng? Is it the high dot speed train ticket for 7.30 tonight? I haven't bought a ticket yet. When Su plans to do something big, so he doesn't plan to return to the company so early. I'm planning to take a day off and return to work on Tuesday. Are you going to work again on Tuesday? The aunt raised her eyebrows. Su Su, the aunt knows a young man. Do you want to meet him? No, 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 when Su quickly refused. Next time definitely, next time definitely. Early Monday morning, when Su left the door carrying a bag. She submitted the fruits and vegetables produced in the space as samples for testing, and the staff inquired about the reason. When Su said, it's grown at home. Is it grown at home? The staff couldn't understand, are you still worried about growing at home? When Su had already thought out his words, the seedlings were originally bred in the foam box. I heard that the vegetables first planted in the foam box were too afraid to eat. Don't worry, so I'll check them. After raising seedlings in foam boxes, did they change places to carry seeds later? Yes, later we used a regular flower pot. If that's all, then it shouldn't be a big problem. But when the applicant insisted, the staff said, okay, please fill out the form here. If there are no accidents, the test results should be unexpectedly good. The outcome of the matter is exactly like this. When Su, who is already working in Dingchen, looked at the test report he received on his phone with a smile. Great. 
her future vegetables and fruits are guaranteed. Shen moved his chair and slid over, stuttering. Oh, Su Guzi, why are you laughing so sneakily? Her head leaned over and she lowered her voice, did you go home for a blind date? No, it's not. What is that? I can't say. When Su pushed Shen He's head away. Go on, go on the side. When you rest later, I'll wash the fruits for you to eat. Shen He's eyes lit up and he said, yeah. What fruit? When Su said, little tomato. Shen He was greatly disappointed and said, can a small tomato be a fruit? I said yes, when Su relaxed and leaned back on the chair. Well, well, you are right. You are the boss and you have the the final say. When Su asked, then you can say whether to eat or not. Shen He smiled and said, of course you eat. If you don't eat, it's for nothing. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Receiving Bookings You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Receiving Bookings Keep Going it's finally time for lunch break. When Sue immediately returned to her personal belongings cabinet and took out her daily backpack. Fortunately, she, who has never had the habit of carrying a backpack, carried a bag today to decorate her herbal tea. It seems that in the future, she will have the habit of carrying a backpack. Under the cover of his backpack, when Sue took out a large bag of freshly picked small tomatoes. When Su borrowed a plate from the cafeteria and washed the small tomatoes with Shen He. The round and lovely small tomatoes were stained with sparkling water droplets, filling two large plates. Carrying small tomatoes, we walked towards our seats. Along the way, there were many familiar people. You grab a handful, I'll take a few. When they sat down in their seats, there were only seven or eight small tomatoes left in each of the two large plates. Do you eat tomatoes? Wen Su asked. Lin Yu held a spoon and stretched his neck to look at it, feeling disgusted and saying, if I don't eat or not, there's only a few left. It's not enough for me to stuff my teeth. Shen He and others on one side said, if you don't eat, I'll eat. My teeth are small, and I can eat enough. After Shen He finished speaking, he wanted to snatch the plate from Wen Su's hand and put the small tomatoes on the plate into his own plate. Lin Yu was taken aback by this and smiled, Wow, Shen He, were you a bandit in your previous life? This thing needs to be eaten before it smells good. Lin Yu, who didn't originally want to eat, suddenly became interested in Shen He's bandit behavior. He reached out and said, I'll have one too. But it was too late, someone next to me intercepted my beard. It's from the adjacent equipment group. Huang Anping grabbed his hand and said with a smile, Wen Su, I'll take these and divide them among the people in our group. Huang Anping is accompanied by his girlfriend, who is an accountant in the finance department and is very beautiful. Lin Shanshan furrowed her pretty eyebrows and, in a deserted corner, reminded Huang Anping, Anping, you lost your life. Don't do this again next time. Huang Anping smiled and agreed, then fed the small tomato in his hand into Lin Shanshan's mouth. Lin Shanshan avoided and said, Didn't you say to divide the members of your group together? Oh my, there's not enough to divide these few. Let's split up. Huang Anping said when Lin Shanshan didn't eat, I'll eat if you don't eat. I just got one for my team leader. I'm not lying to you. It's really delicious. Huang Anping also learned from his team leader that when Su was distributing food. He didn't have enough food, so he specifically ran from the second cafeteria to the first cafeteria. Wow! Lin Shanshan's eyes lit up after taking one, and she didn't need Huang Anping's persuasion this time, so she moved her hand. Within a few seconds, Huang Anping's face completed a transition from complacency to nervousness. Wait a minute, leave a little bit for me. Seven or eight small tomatoes had already been eaten, and Lin Shanshan gave Huang Anping a reluctant push. Anping, go ask Wen Su where he bought these small tomatoes. There are quite a few people who share the same thoughts as Lin Shanshan. First, 
people from the same department came to find her. Then, on WeChat, they received messages from several people from the neighboring department. Later, someone who was not familiar with her turned around to find her. Lin Yu finished his meal tasteless and tasteless. He looked at Wen Su and Shen He in front of him and said, You guys are really exaggerating. It's just a little tomato. How delicious it can be. It's not delicious, it's really not delicious. Fortunately, when she was washing tomatoes by the sink just now, she and Wen Su were already almost full before coming out. Lin Yu frowned and pinched for a while before looking at Shen He, since it's not delicious, then give me the remaining one. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Finding Intermediaries You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Finding Intermediaries In an afternoon, more than 50 people came to her to inquire about where the little tomato was bought. When Sue said it was planted by her family, and immediately someone said they wanted to place an order immediately. Wen Su had no choice but to say that the family did not plant much and first reassure the people. Soothing is comforting, but there is no reason not to make a profit with small money, but the loopholes and patches here must be fixed. Wen Su once again stopped working overtime at night. She, who lives in a collective dormitory, did not return to the dormitory, but went to find an agent. At present, she has two things to do first, one is to rent a house, and the other is to rent a storefront. It would be best if the back of this storefront could be directly connected to the planting base, which would be great. As long as the money is in place, renting a house is easy, but if you hear the order quickly, time is tight, and the task is heavy, it will be difficult to find a suitable house. The next day at work, more than ten people came to ask her about Little Tomato. After passively touching the fish for more than ten minutes, when Sue finally got into work. Not long after sitting in my seat, the news came out. Ha! Huh. When Sue frowned and asked the HR supervisor to find her. What are you looking for her for? There isn't much work interaction between them, right? Has her recent attendance been abnormal? But if her attendance is abnormal, it won't be the HR supervisor looking for her anyway. Although I don't know the reason, when Sue still went to the administrative building. She held a small notebook in her hand and tossed it back and forth, thinking about what the HR supervisor was looking for her as she walked. Suddenly, when Sue's footsteps paused, and a possibility emerged in his heart. When Sue's heart was beating with a thud, and even his palms were sweating profusely due to nervousness. Is it because someone came to her to buy a small tomato these past few days, which violation of the company's regulations, that she needs to be dismissed. Wen Su, have you been with the company for over two years? Wen Su heard the supervisor ask her in the HR supervisor's office. No, right. Are you really going to fire her? Wen Su obediently replied, Hmm, it's been over two years, two years, six months, and five days. Can't we? She can't really be fired, can she? But if it weren't for starting her, why call her to the HR office alone? Ha 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 ha, hurry up, she can't wait anymore, oh by the way, can she still get N plus one like this? Ah, it's been so long. The HR supervisor changed his tone and said, oh by the way, I heard that the small tomato you distributed in the cafeteria yesterday was grown by your own family. La 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 la, eh. Ask Little Tomato, when Sue is a bit disappointed, yes. The HR supervisor's expression became friendly as she took Wen Sue's hand and said, Sue Sue. Wen Sue felt goosebumps, but politely didn't pull his hand back. She heard the HR supervisor say, Sue Sue, as you know, my husband works in fruit and vegetable retail. Yesterday, Xiao Hu gave me two of your little tomatoes, which I think are very good. If you are interested, you can have a variety of these tomatoes and sell them in my husband's retail store. She doesn't know, but knowing is also possible. Upon hearing the preface, her mind was moved, and the small tomatoes in her space were now several baskets in size. Selling is possible, but she still has to hold back and fix the patch before saying that. 
The HR supervisor heard Wen Su's rebuttal and said it was expected. She smiled and said, Su Su, it's okay. Anyway, both of us know our roots and we have a long time to work together. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 New Ideas You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 New Ideas When Su didn't work overtime for several consecutive nights, and now Lin Yu couldn't hold on anymore. When I was fetching water early at work today, Lin Yu leaned over to Wen Su and said, Should I work overtime or should I? Wen Su unscrewed the bottle cap, and she has been in a good mood these days. She smiled and said, I have already finished everything. Recently, due to the need to find a house, she has rarely taken the initiative to fish except for passive fishing in the past few days. I know you've done it, Lin Yu tore open the tea packaging and turned to Wen Su, but don't rush things before or after. Even if you've already completed the urgent task at hand, you can still work overtime to take out and take stock of what you've done before. Wen Su. Dot. Lin Yu continued, even if you have taken inventory of the past, you can tell me that work can be adjusted. So, if your disciple has a few pictures in his hand, you can help him today. Wen Su. Dot. Forget it, the strawberries that can be harvested today should still be given to Shen He as usual. Let's forget about Lin Yu. He is not worthy. When Wen Su and Lin Yu returned to their workstation, a person wearing dark green work clothes was busy near their workstation. It's Xiao Lu who leaps up to become a flower. When Wen Su sat down, Xiao Lu happened to bring a pot of wealth tree and replaced the white cup on the Wen Su workstation. The wealth tree. Upon hearing the preface, her heart was filled with joy. She liked the name of the wealth tree very much, not to mention its unique appearance. She reached out and lightly touched the leaves of the fortune tree, which gently stretched out its leaves. Xiao Lu clearly liked Wen Su and couldn't help but add, Xiao Wen, the wealth tree can't be watered too much. Watering too much can easily rot its roots. Okay, little Lu. Their company's green plants are all rented from Leap Up Flowers, and every two weeks, Leap Up Flowers will come to trim and replace the plants. Wen Su noticed that Xiao Lu's expression was not relaxed, as if he was troubled. He had intended to take this opportunity to learn from him. But it seems that he is in a bad mood, so just think about it. Little Wen, is your factory still hiring workers? asked Xiao Lu to Wen Su, who knew that she had stopped speaking Ah. Wen Su was stunned for a moment and said, Do you have any friends you want to introduce? I will inquire with the recruitment personnel and let you know in the afternoon. It's not anyone else, I'm looking for a job myself, said Xiao Lu in a low, embarrassed voice upon hearing the preface, he thought for a moment and asked, aren't you doing the jumping flowers anymore? Since she joined this company, the liaison responsible for delivering flowers to their company is Xiao Lu. Xiao Lu scratched his head and said, our company boss has divorced and the company has been allocated to the boss's wife. However, the boss's wife doesn't want to do the flower business and wants to sell the company. Upon hearing the preface, one's mind moved. Ha! Huh. Her previous idea was to grow fruits and vegetables, but if she were in the flower business, wouldn't it also be possible? After careful consideration, when Sue found it feasible, Planting fruits and vegetables in small quantities is still acceptable. If the quantity is large, at least she needs to have several greenhouses, or how can she explain where the out-of-season fruits and vegetables in her hands come from? But opening a flower shop would be different. A flower shop can find a small storefront, as long as she is not too greedy. Compared to growing fruits and vegetables, planting flowers can help her hide better in the city. Having looked at the wealth tree on his desk, Wen Su had already made a decision in his heart. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Renting Storefronts You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Renting Storefronts I have an idea in my heart, so what are you waiting for? I'll do it as soon as I hear the order, and I'll find an agent after work. She needs to find a storefront and also rent a house. 
Upon hearing that the door the intermediary was looking for was for a flower shop, he immediately indicated that he had a suitable one in hand and that the original owner happened to be in the shop. Upon hearing the preface, my eyes lit up, and upon hearing it again, was it a coincidence that I had risen to the heights of flowers. At this moment, the owner of the jumping flower walked over. She was tall, with a cold and stern expression, and looked like an unattractive but I dot catching imperial sister. Her gaze fell on Wen Su's face, and her voice was cold. Are you planning to open a flower shop? Five hours ago, Wen Su listened to the gossip of the owner's wife at Xiao Lu's place, and naturally knew why the owner's wife was in a bad mood. She knew that the owner of Yuexing Flower must not be in the mood to talk nonsense to her, so Wen Su didn't go into too much detail. Yes, I plan to open a flower shop, but I only need a small shop of around 10 or 20 square meters, Wen Su said as he looked at the owner of Yuexing Flower. I know about Yuexing Flower, but its scale is too large for me to eat. Wen Su politely declined, although she was quite tempted. Price is not a problem, the owner of Yuexing Flower turned to look at the agent and said, the price can be slightly lower, but subletting should be done quickly, the faster the better. After finishing speaking, the owner of Jump Flower turned around and nodded slightly at Wen Su, then left with a small bag. Wen Su looked straight at me. The black lady's suit compliments her well. Her back is really straight, and she walks with a crisp and neat gait. She is a very handsome lady. Miss Wen. Miss Wen. Wen Su was called back to his senses by the agent, and the owner of Jump Flower was no longer there. The agent seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. His face became much livelier and he said, Miss Wen, why don't you jump to the flower market? Trust me, it's a great deal. Upon hearing the same sentence, she regretfully said, I wanted it, but I can't afford it. Can you recommend something smaller in size to me? Hi, how about I say Miss Wen that you picked a big bargain, said the agent, Miss Gu said, the price is not a problem it's just better to speed up. Wen Su probably knows why, what's the price? Upon hearing this, the agent's expression relaxed and he immediately said, all other assets of Yuexing Flower have been disposed of, and now there is only one storefront left, 100,000 yuan, sublet. Upon hearing the preface, I lost interest and said, if we add the Yuexing Flower to the horticultural base in Yunlin town, I'm still interested. But if it's just a storefront, then forget it. I'll just rent a small one according to my previous idea. She doesn't need a big flower shop, just one with a total cost of around 50,000 to 60,000 yuan. The agent glanced at Wen Su in surprise. The information he just provided did not show that there is still a horticultural base for Yuexing flower in Yunlin town. However, upon second thought, one can understand that when Su was planning to open a flower shop, and although Yuexing flower is not the best horticulture in Dingcheng, it is still somewhat famous. It is not surprising that when Su can learn about Yuexing flower. The agent poured a cup of tea for Wen Su and then opened the tablet to show him a photo of the flower shop. Miss Wen, don't worry, let's take a look at the last storefront of Yuexing flower. Trust me, you will be satisfied with this storefront he said when Su is indeed very satisfied. This storefront is located by the Jinding River, with the Yundu Suspension Bridge on the left, and the starting point of the Yundu Suspension Bridge is the entrance to Jinding Mountain. Jinding Mountain, with daily crowds, is a well.known free scenic spot. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Jiaoyu Terrace You are listening at Novel Full.audio Chapter 9 Diaoyu Terrace Although Wen Su was quite tempted, he didn't immediately agree. Instead, he said, I'll consider it and discuss it with my family first. Okay. The agent's eyes flashed with a hint of disappointment, but Wen Su's reaction didn't surprise him much. After all, this is a reaction that many customers will have. Miss Wen, if you really want to open a flower shop, the remaining storefront of Jump Flower is really good. You can consider it. Okay, I will consider it carefully. Wen Su left the agency and did not immediately return to the dormitory. Instead, 
he found a place to have a simple dinner, and then swept a shared bike to Jindingshan. After crossing the Yenda Bridge, Wen Su quickly found the Yuesheng flower branch at the foot of Jinding Mountain. Hey, Xiao Wen. Xiao Lu, who had jumped to the flower scene, rode a tricycle and looked at Wen Xu standing at the end of the Yenda Bridge in surprise. Xiao Wen, you finished work so early. It's only Monday today. Aren't you working overtime? There's something to do, I won't add it today, Wen Su replied. Oh, Jian Wen Su stood at the end of the Yunda Bridge, neither moving forward nor retreating. Suddenly, Xiao Lu thought of a possibility and squinted his eyes, teasing him, Oh, I guessed. Are you waiting for someone important? Dot. Under the sunset, there were occasionally one or two couples walking towards the direction of Jinding Mountain on the Yunda Cable Bridge. Coupled with Xiao Lu's teasing and gossiping eyes at the moment, Wen Su pretended to be unable to guess. But Xiao Lu guessed wrong. Wen Su didn't have to wait for anyone important. After a moment of silence, he said, Actually, I'm here to find you. Me. Xiao Lu looked at Wen Su in confusion. It's impossible, isn't it? Without further ado, Wen Su asked, Brother Lu, is the business of this branch good on a regular basis? It's pretty good but it's not too good either. It's average, and I'm not too busy usually. Xiao Lu now understood that Wen Su might not have come here for a date, but for this rising flower. Now, he said happily, why are you interested, Xiao Wen? If you take down this flower shop, can I continue to work here? I have this idea, but I'm still considering it. Oh, come in and take a look, then think about it. Xiao Lu warmly welcomed Wen Su and took him up and down to look at the flower shop. Wen Su looked through the window at the leisure corridor by the river. At this moment, many people were sitting on their own ponies and fishing by the river. Hey, little girl, are you planning to take over this flower shop? Seeing Xiao Lu looking around with Wen Su, it was not difficult for those fishing around to guess that he was someone who wanted to open a shop. Among them was a fishing man with only half a hair, so he enthusiastically chatted from afar. Before Wen Su could answer, the old man had already gotten up from his small horse and walked a few steps before coming to Wen Su and Xiao Lu's side. Little girl, if you own this shop, will you sell camellias in the future? Xiao Lu introduced, Xiao Wen, this is Mr. Wu. Besides his love for fishing, his favorite thing is to raise camellias. Ha ha ha, Lao Wu, why are you making things difficult for Camellia? Isn't it okay for you to let go of Camellia? A hearty laugh came from the riverbank. Xiao Lu whispered, Xiao Wan, this elder sister is the landlord here. She is very kind and you can rent her house. There aren't many messy things to do. As soon as Xiao Lu finished speaking, he heard the landlord's happy laughter and said, Little girl, if you open a flower shop, don't sell Lao Wu's camellias. You don't know that this old man is a well-known camellias killer here. Go ahead, what are you talking about? Grandpa Wu became anxious and said, Little girl, don't listen to them talking nonsense. All the things they say are accidents. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Going Home Again You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Going Home Again on the Weekend, When Su Ran Home Again Su Su's mother opened the door and put down the melon seeds in her hand in surprise. Su Su, how did you come back again? You came just in time, come and explain why you didn't do good work and went to the flower shop. Whether resigning or opening a flower shop, Wen Su feels that these things are major events. Although she no longer needed her family to give her advice, she felt that it was necessary for her to explain to them before proceeding. So, I mentioned it on the phone before, but I didn't explain it in detail. After listening, Su Su's mother and father fell silent for a while. Su Su's mother got up from the sofa and took out a passbook from the room. The password is for your birthday, take it and use it, she said when Su breathed a sigh of relief and smiled, boss is grand. But no need, I have enough money. 
Su Su's father said, opening a store is also considered entrepreneurship. You need to rent a storefront. If you don't work in your old company anymore, you can't still live in dormitories. You have to rent your own house. It costs money for food and accommodation. If your mother gives it to you, you can take it. He didn't want it yet, but Su Su's father gave Wen Su a don't be ignorant look. By the way, where did you buy the vegetables and fruits you sent last time? They were really delicious, Su Su's mother suddenly asked. Su Su's father also said, yes, yes, where did you buy those vegetables and fruits? Have you noticed that your mother's temper has improved after eating them every day? Is that right? Wen Su was a bit conflicted about whether to tell her parents what had happened, but her final decision was not to tell them. Let's have a psychological impact. Is that right? Yes, right. Suddenly, Wen Su noticed a slight abnormality in his body and said, Dad, it's too late to explain. I'm tired, go to bed first. Su Shida. Dot. Su Shima. Dot. Su Su's father strangely pointed to Wen Su who was going to get clothes to take a shower and said, is your daughter feeling unwell? Otherwise, it's only seven o'clock. What do you sleep for? I used to hear that there was no eleven or twelve o'clock, so I wouldn't put down my phone to sleep. Su Su's father said this, and Su Su's mother was also a bit worried. Wen Su went home for two purposes. For a while this week, she gradually approached her colleagues who had booked small tomatoes for her. She planned to send them express delivery directly from home, but the trouble was a bit troublesome, but the patch was applied. The second reason is that in the space, when Su discovered a huge stone, on which was written an article titled, Inspiring Qi Decision. Alone outside, when Su felt that if something happened to him, no one would notice him, so when he finally felt a bit embarrassed, he went home. During this period, Su Su's mother came into Wen Su's room several times, but Wen Su never felt any changes in his body until late at night, when Wen Su couldn't help but fall asleep, a heart-wrenching pain came from between his bones. Without saying a word of greeting, Wen Su was pained and turned into a shrimp bending over on the plate, burning red. I heard the order wrong, it was completely wrong. What immediately calls for help when something is wrong? She was thinking beautifully, but when the pain came, she didn't show any courtesy to Wen Su. Not to mention calling for help, she just wanted to let out a shallow groan, it was all delusion. Sweat as big as beans rained out from all over Wen Su's head, back, chest, and limbs. In just a few seconds, Wen Su became a water figure. Wen Su was so painful that she almost withdrew her soul. She even had time to wonder if she would just sweat and die from dehydration. Perhaps as a punishment for her lack of concentration, the painful sensation of bone fractures had not yet been fully understood, and the cramped and numb sensation of being unable to move completely covered her. Su Su's father is a taxi driver. He woke up at 5 a.m. He walked into the living room in a daze, and a strange smell came from him. It made Su Su's father drowsy and all the insects run away. He couldn't help but furrow his brow and wave his hand, TSK, what's that thing? It smells so bad. Su Su's father widened his eyes and looked at Su Su's mother in astonishment, Su Su's mother, shouldn't your daughter be pulling her pants? You just pulled up your pants. Did you talk like that? Su Su's mother opened the door of Wen Su's room and was surprised. Su Su is smoking. Su Su's mother reached out and said, quickly help her up and take her to the hospital. Your daughter is burning like carbon now. What are you waiting for? Su Su's father became anxious upon hearing this. Come on, come on, see if you can wake her up. If you can wake her up, I'll take care of her. She's not a very smart child, but she can't withstand such a high fever. Su Su, Su Su, can you hear your mother speak? Su Su's mother reached out and gently patted Wen Su's face. Wen Su could hear it, but she couldn't open her eyes and control her body, but her other senses of hearing, smell, 
pain, and so on were fine, even clearer than before. When she was dying of pain, there were many noisy sounds in her ears. Firstly, there was the thunderous snoring of Su Su's father in the neighboring room, as well as the sound of Su Su's mother, who was awakened by the snoring in the middle of the night, adjusting the bass level to play a certain tone. There was a young couple living on the two floors downstairs of her house, and she seemed to hear the rustling of their voices in the middle of the night. When Su felt that her brain must have been damaged by severe pain, and she began to hallucinate. If it weren't for hallucinations, how could she possibly hear the whispers of residents on the two floors downstairs? This is impossible. Couples talking at night is not a quarrel, there isn't that much noise. The sound of traffic, the sound of river water, the lively singing of the bar across the river, and even further away in the dark mountains and forests, the cooing of owls how else could she feel like she had hallucinations? When Sue even felt like she had seen her own inner world, heard the sound of blood rushing through her veins, and even saw a strange chi weaving another emerald green vascular network in a way she couldn't understand. Following the emerald green airflow, when Sue unexpectedly discovered that the starting and ending points of the airflow were all around his lower abdomen, repeating the process. Is this the so dot called Chichen Dan Tian? Thinking in an unreliable manner. At this moment, she suddenly felt that her soul had been truly withdrawn. She had not opened her eyes and was still lying in her bed, but she had seen the shape of her own space. At this moment, her perspective was very novel, as if she was sitting on top of the cloud, overlooking the entire space from top to bottom. At this moment, the space underwent earth-shattering changes. The space that originally looked like a volcano was actually a volcano. And beyond the volcanic crater, there is an endless desert. Or rather, the crater is still the same one. Originally, her body entered space and her line of sight ended at the mountains along the edge of the crater, while now she is above the clouds and her line of sight is no longer restricted. When Su can feel that his pain is coming in waves as the spatial desert expands layer by layer. When the end of the desert is no longer visible, the pain finally fades away, and the warm feeling slowly rises. End of this chapter